guys, Michelle here from JM's Adventures coming to you, one with an apology on yesterday's video that I tried to upload, but it didn't save. Um, I had opened some little doorbell boxes with characters and cars, and I was only able to open two of them out of the three because the third one had been stolen. So the two that I did get, which are very cute, here is Olaf and his little is a bike. He's too freaking cute. And then we also got Winnie the Pooh and his, I'm going to call it his little honeymobile. But it's very adorable. But these, you get them from Walmart. Like they're $8, $7-$8 for those little things. But that's a new thing that they've come out with. And there is a Series 10 that has come out. Um, I tried to post a video yesterday about it uh, while I was at Michael's and Target. But unfortunately, like I said, it did not would not allow me to do that. Um, today I do want to give a big shout out to Disneyland for a happy 60th, 68th birthday, sorry, that today, July 17th, 1955, was the day that Disneyland originally opened. Um, it was one of Walt's biggest dreams is to be able to make something to where everybody can go from the ages of zero to 99. So big shout out to Disneyland for a happy 68th birthday. And I'll throw a little something in there um, at the end of the video today. I did want to come on here and talk about something that has been going on and that is a major thing. So they were doing the Oogie Boogie Bash tickets. They started selling them this month. Well, unfortunately, there's a lot of them that are being resold on eBay. I want to advise against buying anything that has to do with a Disneyland event off of eBay. I will explain why. These people are taking these tickets and they are buying them. And they are reselling them for, if not double, triple the, the price value. I have seen some on there for $1,500 for 900 so they're doubling their money to get this do not buy from them you buy it from them here's what comes at fault to you if you purchase these tickets off of ebay what happens is, is after these people buy them you turn around and you buy them off of, and they sell them on ebay and you turn around and buy them off of ebay you can't get into the park it strictly says on the disneyland website non-transferable for these type of tickets for these events. So if you purchase that one, you're out that money. Let's say you purchase the $1,500 ones, you're out that $1,500 and you can't get it back. Those people that bought them now got your $1,500, but you can't get into the park. These, they call them scalpers. They do this, they do this all the time. I just advise you be very careful. And to those who are reselling them on eBay, shame on you for doing this because you are taking it from people such as myself and my boyfriend or anybody who loves Disney. You're taking that away from us. And I feel that the only thing that Disney can do, and it's very hurtful to the ones that purchase it off of eBay, is not allowing you into the park. And that's hurtful to the ones that rebought them off of eBay from somebody who just bought them and then resold them. They are non-transferable. Before you purchase anything off of a Disneyland app or Disneyland.go.com, read the fine print. If you buy an event ticket, keep it and go. If you're not going to go and all you're going to do is resell it, number one, shame on you. Number two, don't take it from other people who actually love going. And don't do it just because you're trying to make your money. I know I understand if it's a hard time for you. And you shouldn't have bought those tickets. But again, they are non-transferable. You cannot sell these on eBay or any other site or sell them to somebody else. They can't get in because that ticket is under your name. And when, let's say if I purchased them and I didn't know any of this. And then my boyfriend I'm like, yeah, we got to go. We're going to Oogie Boogie Bash. First time going. We hand our tickets. They can look at you and say, I apologize, but I can't allow you in. I mean, it's very hurtful to people that want to go do this and very hurtful to people that just like a lot of people, millions of people who work hard and are looking forward to something like this to not get the chance to go in because of this whole entire thing. I don't know what Disney's going to do about it. 
from my understanding, that's what they did in the past of saying, I'm sorry, I apologize, you can't get in. These are non-transferable tickets. I mean, even I've been told a few times to sell my Disneyland park hopper passes, you know, tickets to get into the park and park hop. And it strictly says, you cannot do that. I'm not going to get in trouble for selling my tickets to someone else after I've read the fine print where it says it's non-transferable. So I just advise everybody, please, please, please be careful of what you buy off of eBay when it comes to Disney. Not as far as merchandise, but as far as event tickets. I want to make it clear. Event tickets. I remember, I believe it was not last year that people would buy them and they were, they were not able to get into the park. And so they were out those tickets and out that money. And if it was a promise to a family that was trying to purchase those things, <laughs> there's nothing you could do about it because you just lost all that money. So I'm, I feel for the ones that purchase these tickets off of eBay and try to go. I don't know what Disney's going to do this year. It could be the same thing as they've done before. You can't get in. I'm just coming on here to advise you, be very careful. It is ridiculous at what is going on when you have people purchase tickets for events and then turn around and sell them. And I believe you can only get two per, two per, per is it two per person or two, one for each person, I guess. I don't know. Um, I, I know I had a coworker who she got on there and she was on there for four hours one morning and then 12 hours and she couldn't get tickets either. I mean, they sold out fast, which is, is this is a, a very fun event from what I've seen from other, you know, uh, YouTube vloggers that do these events. So again, I'm just advising you guys, just be very careful at what you do and at where you purchase things. If you're going to purchase it, do it through the Disneyland app or the website itself. That way you know, you know where you're getting it from and you will have that possible guarantee of getting into that park on that day or that event. And you never know, they might be doing the Very Merry Christmas party this year again. Who knows? Um, I just wanted to reach out today and let you guys know that that's what's on my mind right now. It's very upsetting to see this go on. I, I don't like it. I don't appreciate it being taken away from others who are good and big Disney fans such as myself. Um, I hope one day it can be stopped. I hope it can be nipped in the butt to where this does not happen. In my opinion, I think it should be find out who those people are, track them to eBay if there's any way of doing that, and blocking them from purchasing the tickets or blocking them on the website from purchasing tickets in the future, um, knowing that they've bought them and then turn around and resold them to somebody else. Again, that's very shameful, very hurtful to the ones who would love to go. Um, I hope everybody's having a great Monday. Um, I'm in a cleaning mode. <laughs> So right now, that's just, uh, it's my Monday to clean. Um, hopefully next week I will have some more content for you guys. Um, more positive than this, I'll tell you that. Um, I did find some new The Dorables Series 10. So I will see what I can do next Monday, Sunday, Monday, to get that content for you and get you going. Um, and we will go from there. I hope you all have a great Monday. Have a great week. Um, love you all. Thank you all for the support. Um, keep it going. Please keep sharing, liking, and subscribing to this channel. And I will keep doing my best to give you guys more content of what you want or what you're interested in. Um, again, happy 68th birthday to uh, Disneyland. I will say I was 34 when I first went. I am 42 now. And it, it was a blast. It was my very first time going. It was a great time. So I hope you all get to go and get to share the celebration today at Disneyland and the happiness and everything that is going on in there. It is known as the happiest place on earth. So for those who may not live there, help me give a shout out to Disneyland and tell them happy birthday as well on social media of any type, any platform. And I will see you guys next week. As Tigger likes to say, TTFN, ta-ta for now. Bye.